Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create a drop down list in Excel using the data validation option. Now here I have created a list of few companies in column A. Now we'll create a drop down list about the nature of these companies in column B. I have listed a few categories here in column H. Now we'll create a drop down list of these categories in column B. First of all, select the area, select the cells where you want to create the drop down list. Here I have selected B2 to B15. Now I'll go to data. Here, this is the button of the data validation. I'll click on this little drop down arrow and click on data validation. Now I'll create a list. I will change this any value to list since I'll add this list to my drop down. Now for the source, select the location. Here I will select H3, H9 and press enter. Now my drop down list is created in column B. This is the easiest way of creating a drop down list. Now here comes a challenge. What if I need to add an additional row above ICIC bank? Let's say Bharti Exa. Now you will see that the, the drop down list already exists against this cell I created. But when I click on this drop down list, here comes a blank space. Since I entered this cell, this row above ICIC bank, that is row 8, the space was created in this list. So now you can face this problem if your source data and your actual data are in the same sheet. Now in order to prevent this, here's a solution. Copy these categories to another sheet which can be your data backup or data source sheet like here I have done in book 5. Now change this these cells to excel table. How you can do this? Press ctrl T. Here I have pressed ctrl T and it will automatically select the cells which are filled with some data. Here please ensure that you have tick marked this header cells. I have done ok and press ok. Now my cells are converted into range. Now the benefit of converting this into range I will show you in the next step. The next thing you need to do is select this and name it something like I have given it the name of nature. Now going back to the example here, now we'll create the same drop down list here. Select the C2 to C16 cell, again go to data, here click on data validation, list and in source type the name that you gave. Here we gave the name nature, now press ok. Now the drop down list is created. Now why did we convert this? cells data to excel table here i'll show you something now i am adding again a category into this like home loan banking retail now i have entered three more entries and you might notice that this is automatically changing it, it is now becoming a part of this my table now if i go to my previous sheet now I will do nothing and I will just check this drop down list. It includes all the three options that I included in the last. It means when you change your data into a table, it automatically updates its ranges. So there is no need to refresh or go to again go to data validation and update your source when you have used a name range and converted your data to a table. Now again I will use an another example. Here this is a very basic example. Here I have listed a name of few students. There are 10 names. Now I need to enter pass or fail against each name. Now I'll again select the location. I'll go to data. Click on this drop down data validation. Again I'll use list. And here I'll type like pass comma fail and press enter now see my drop down list is created for two categories that is pass and fail now this can be very easy here again you don't need a source data you you have just typed it in in the source so 
you don't have to remember that where was my data backup or where was my source sheet so it's very easy you have to just type but remember you cannot use this typing method in this example since here are a big names in the category typing pass and fail is very easy but you cannot type all these names in this source data so now according to your data you can choose the method how you will create and what method suits your data suits your requirement to create a drop down list i hope you like this video thanks for watching